We had uh, three little hogs as of April 1st. It wasn't an April Fool's joke or anything, so so she was almost on time, as we predicted. And uh, and so they've been in the back, so there's mother uh, hoglet bonding going on there, and now she's just coming out into the main exhibit, and and they're doing great. The big family matures quite quite quickly, and uh, so they'll hold on to those uh, watermelon stripes and spots for the first uh, few weeks, and then they'll disappear rapidly, and then they'll look like uh, uh, just miniature versions of the adults. Mavula and her new hoglets can uh, visit and uh, be brought up with the uh, earlier uh, generation of hoglets there. So that's good for parenting, it's good for the hoglets and the and the yearlings to see as well. Have we come up uh, with any names yet for these three? Uh, we have, actually. Sida, Saba, and Nene. And do we know what their genders are? Uh, I, we believe they're all boys. Well, actually, they're just the wild uh, version of uh, pigs. So they're from the pig family. Uh, they live in grasslands, uh, tropical rainforests and whatnot in Africa, so so they have a specific pattern to them as well, so uh, they have a nice dorsal line down their back, they have uh, ear tassels as well, it's like a bicycle handlebar type of tassels, and uh, they have long uh, spindly tails as well, um, they're uh, burrowers as well, so, um, so they so they uh, just pretty much clean up everything on the floor of the forest floor when they move about. They're mainly nocturnal animals, so so they do most of their stuff at night. Uh, it's very hot out during the day, so they stick to the grasses and the uh, bush for cover during the day. Um, their main predator in Africa is leopards, so leopards take a lot of these guys. Um, they uh, travel in groups uh, called sounders, so we almost have a big enough group to call it that. And sometimes those groups are joined by other tribes of uh, Red River Hogs as well. So you can get up to 60, 65 animals in one, in one big sounder.